SARS-CoV-2 is the coronavirus responsible for causing the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The genetic material of the virus is encapsulated within a membrane. The external surface of the membrane is studded with a viral protein called spike. The spike protein gives the virus its characteristic appearance of a crown. The spike protein is the key player in SARS-CoV-2 infection as it recognizes and attaches to the surface of human cells inside the body. Once attached, the virus is then able to invade the cell. Inside the cell, its genetic material is released and the virus begins to replicate. The infection process in human cells can be observed with a microscope in the laboratory. In this image, infected cells are labeled in green and the spread of the infection can be observed over time. In order to bind human cells, the viral spike protein recognizes and makes contact with a receptor called ACE2 on the cell surface. The interaction between ACE2 and spike helps the virus to stick to cells and triggers its internalization. In this study, we discovered a secondary receptor that the virus recognizes to cause infection. This receptor, called neuropilin 1, or abbreviated to NRP1, is also contacted by the spike protein. We found that the presence of neuropilin 1 at the cell surface significantly enhanced the infection and spread of the virus in human cells, as seen in this magnified image. To understand this phenomenon in more detail, we investigated the biochemical basis of the interaction between neuropilin 1 and the virus spike protein. This is a molecular model that shows the key proteins that are involved in the interface between the virus and the human cell. The spike protein makes contact with ACE2 and neuropilin 1. These contacts enhance the entry of the virus into cells, where it then replicates to cause infection. Using biochemical techniques, we next focused in on the details of the interaction between spike and neuropilin 1. The biochemical structure of this interaction reveals a three-dimensional binding pocket present on the surface of neuropilin 1. The viral spike protein sends a finger-like projection into this binding pocket to engage the neuropilin 1 receptor. This binding process resembles an outstretched hand coming from neuropilin 1 that the spike protein grabs hold of in order to gain entry into human cells. In this video we focus directly into the biochemistry of this process. The binding pocket of neuropilin 1 is labelled in white and the finger-like projection of the spike protein occupying that space is in blue. Crucially, we found that a drug that also fits into this binding pocket, overlaid here in orange, was able to block the viral spike protein from binding to neuropilin 1 by outcompeting this binding pocket. This raises the possibility that drugs targeting neuropilin 1 may be used to prevent the viral spike protein from exploiting it to enter human cells. The impact of blocking neuropilin 1 in human cells can be clearly observed. When cells were treated with a drug or an antibody blocking this interaction, the levels of infection and spread of the virus were significantly reduced. Together, these results implicate neuropilin 1 as an important host factor for SARS-CoV-2 infection and suggest that blocking neuropilin 1 may be an important therapeutic intervention in the treatment of COVID-19.